Hello and welcome. In this quick tip video from Film Editing Pro, I'm going to show you a cool technique for creating more realistic punch sound effects for a fight scene. This is a bad example of what we're trying to avoid. I'll go ahead and play it. And I'll play it just one more time for you. Alright, so pretty bad, right? The punches sound really fake and cartoony, and also they basically all sound the same. There's not much variety in the hits. A punch that lands on the, on the skin of the face, such as this one, is going to sound a lot different than this block where two arms covered in clothing are making contact. Or, from this section right here, this hit involves hands making contact with the clothing on a chest, which is a heavy jacket and a pr presumably a shirt underneath. All these are going to need to be sound designed a little bit differently from each other so that they sound realistic and they sound organic. Now a lot of people forget about the fact that a hit should sound different depending on which parts of the body and what types of material are making contact. Now this leads me to a key point here. There's something missing from the hits that we just listened to. I'll play it again, see if you can figure it out. All right, so what's missing here, among other things, is cloth movement. Believe it or not, the swishing and rustling of cloth plays a pretty big role in selling the idea that people are actually moving quickly and violently in a fight. We're pretty used to hearing it in films, so when it's not there, a scene feels a bit empty. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at a couple cloth movement examples. So the first thing that we'll look at is a cloth grab, and I'll play a few examples of that. Alright, and then the next thing I'm going to play are some cloth flaps. And then lastly, we'll just play a couple cloth rustles. And this is just used more for when there's a lot of scuffling around in the fight. Alright, so let's take a look at four hits that I've designed custom by layering in some cloth movement along with a couple more typical punch sound effects. And I'll go ahead and play them. Alright, so these are a lot more realistic, right? And actually, cloth sounds aren't the only things keeping those original punches that we heard in the first example from feeling realistic. There's a couple more components that we need to really make a hit feel like it's actually happening in the scene. So basically, there are four audio elements needed to create a realistic punch sound effect. First, we'll need a hit that's appropriate to the type of contact being made. A punch to the face will have more of a slap to it, like this. Whereas a punch to the body, or a kick, will sound a bit duller and like a thud, such as this. Second, we'll need some cloth movement like we talked about earlier, like this cloth grab. Third, we'll also need a bit of an air whoosh to give a sense of speed as the arm or leg or other body part moves quickly through the air during the course of the attack. And fourth, we'll need some human grunts to give the impression of effort and pain. All right. So let's go back to our original example. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this fight moment. And I'll use what we just learned to sound design these punches and hits to feel a bit more realistic. Check it out.
Okay, so let's take a look at the before and after. This first one is the fight moment that we started with that has the boring, poorly designed punches. Check it out. All right, and now the second one, this is the fight moment after we layered in more appropriate hits, cloth movement, air whooshes, and human sounds like grunting. Pretty big difference, right? Well, that's it for this Film Editing Pro quick tip. I hope it's taught you a couple useful techniques, and I also hope that it helps you on your next editing project. We'd love to know what you thought of this video, so if you liked it, please hit the like button, and definitely leave any comments or questions below. Thanks for watching.